Okay, welcome to Engineering Mechanics case study. This case study involves research about Newton's free laws of motion. So in this case study, we're going to be investigating about who is Sir Isaac Newton. So we require you to use the computer lab and research about Sir Isaac Newton and describe support your understanding of who he is, a bit of a profile. Second question, from what era was Sir Isaac Newton from? So here we require you to elaborate further about when was he born, what did he do, and what was his accomplishments. Third question, what is meant by the term Newtonian mechanics? And what is physical concepts it employs? Explain your answer. Find out what are the Newtonian mechanics that Sir Isaac Newton worked on. And describe what do they mean. The fourth question is, what is meant by the term inertia? Describe and explain your understanding about inertia. There is a section there where you add links, which is like a copy and paste links to your research and to your summaries. So you will receive a soft copy of this computer lab research activity. This next section. After these three questions, there are three slides, which is a summary from our last lecture. Now, I've summarized Newton's three laws of motion on the next slides. So what I require you to do is to read the first slide, read it a couple of times if you need to, and, um, and summarize what you understand about Newton's first law of motion and what you're understanding on this space over here. Then read this, the second slide, which is Newton's second law. Here we require you to read it, make a summary, and write here what you understand about Newton's second law. And the third slide from Newton's three laws of motion also read that section right here in this section here your summary and your understanding about Newton's third law of motion if you have any further questions during the lab ask your tutor to guide you and help you in this section here this is just a uh, a relative reference question should be straightforward to be completed. So it's just using your position of north, south, west, and east. You can do this uh, diagrammatically where you don't need to actually use any mathematics for it. You can use a relative position arrow pointing to where you need to go. Question number nine. Uh, this is revision from the lectures about force that equals mass times acceleration or you can use weight that equals mass times gravity acceleration. So there are a couple of questions here for you to answer. These two questions here are in a static equilibrium state. So that means that it's not moving. The mass is not moving. And question C, it's showing a rocket flying through space where it is moving. So it's a different case. Please answer these questions. This is an extension alarm activity where it's optional for students who wants to further complete more research study. Where question 10 is Asking, identify other machineries that uses Newton's second law of motion and give examples. List at least five categories. So this means 
For example, I can use a car driving down the highway at a constant speed and then he decides to brake or accelerate. So that would show a deceleration or acceleration. This question here is asking you to explain further the function that you mentioned from question number 10. So in your own words, which already made some, some comments about some of the functions. If the car is braking, okay, the purpose is to slow down and to stop. Question number 12 is asking you to critically analyze how does this technology identify in question 10 relate to Newton's second law of motion? Well, that involves using the formula F equals MA. So if the if the car is deaccelerating, which means it's slowing down, F equals MA, so M is the mass of the car, A is the deacceleration factor, F is the force required to bring the car down to rest. So that's one example. Question number 13. Evaluate how does this technology identify in question number 10, impact or relate to improving humanity or the environment? This question relates to, I use the example as a car. So the car, it improves uh, people to travel from A to B. Impact could be positive or negative. What are the impacts with the environment? And improvements, have a bit of a think about that. How can that improve humanity? People can travel faster. There's also safety in cars. There's numerous ideas you can come around here. That completes.